What does that say right there? Boom, Rolex. Did we find a Rolex? Oh, we found some Rolexes. <laughs> it all really does look like it's almost brand new. Uh oh. Oh yeah, okay. This is good. All right, Locker Nuts, we've got a locker today. You probably saw the footage if it came out of us at the auction buying this. 300 bucks we spent on it, a 10 by 10. You wanna see it? Yeah, all right, let's take a look. All right, not a whole lot, but what I saw I did like. All right, better yet, I should say Jana liked. She definitely liked this one. Let's take a closer look. It's got some nice furniture. It's got some nice pieces in here. Uh, what's this? Clean view. See this here? Is this a? Sh I'm just wondering if this is a shampooer or a vacuum. That is a vacuum. So uh, we've got. Ooh, look at the mirrors. Hey, locker nuts. Uh, what are these? These are some probably just decorative pieces. Actually, I think they probably hang on the wall. Uh, mirrors. This looks like a tabletop. Oh no, it's another wall piece. Decorative wall piece. Hmm, that's interesting. It looks like it's marble, but it's not. So these are what I think are the nicest chairs in here. And this wall, that's good. Good, good, good. This piece also nice. Uh, we have some decorations here. Some flowers of some sort. This is a little different with the black flowers. Kind of cool. Oh, there's some white roses, fake roses there, a little bit of cookware. Doesn't look so hot. And this Jana looked at and said it's a table. Or she thinks it's a table. Or maybe she was talking about that. Hmm. What's the table? Oh, this looks heavy. Yeah, I think that's a table. Looks like a table. I wonder what all these pieces are right here. Something, something that bolts together. But what we like most of all, taped up boxes of mystery. Got some decent pillows here taped together. That looks pretty good. And then a little bit of cast iron here, which we also like to see that. Let's see if we have a manufacturer on the bottom. I don't see anything. It's a decent little pan though. See, that's probably 10 bucks. So we got some definite potential here. Let's uh, let's see, where should we start, hmm? A couple boxes back there too. So the trick is also gonna be, can I get all this in one load in the truck? <laughs> We're gonna have to see about that. But uh, how about we crack over some boxes and see what we find? Okay. Saving money's making money. All right, let's take a look at this box right here. So it's a good day at auctions, and uh, some decent, decent units came up today. About, I think about 10 total. Uh, okay, so we got some books. First book out of the out of the bat here. What does that say right there? Boom, Rolex. Did we find a Rolex? Oh, we found some Rolexes. <laughs> Check it out. Not bad. That's a nice little book. Okay. Everything's a little dirty, though. You know, it's all dirty. Okay, that's Top Ramen. Black Cherry. Glade, it's a room freshener. Stainless steel polish, this will sell. Let's see how this smells here. Check it out, you wanna see it? Oh, what'd you get? I Actually, wasn't sure if you were filming. I am. Oh, hello! I found Rolex on Rolex? Well, it's close. It counts. <laughs> it's it counts the name. <laughs> All right. Hey, YouTube. Here's Dan. Uh, you just bought a unit right out, right down the row here. Yep, like just across the across the way. Like five units down, and uh, you found some good stuff, huh? Found some uh, military gear, 
ammo, jewelry, some money. Probably about, we, we spent about $200. We'll probably make about six. Yeah. With everything cashed out. It's pretty good. Yeah, for a, for a small locker. Okay. So we spent 300. Oh, but you found but, a Rolex. Uh, we found a Rolex. And we found some Glade air freshener and some Top Ramen, so. Oh, you'll need that at home. <laughs> this is kind of interesting because it is a, oh, it's an envelope that's never been opened. So there we got some fairy wings. Ski cap, brand new. Oh, this is some nice stuff, actually. Socks. What else is in here? This looks like costumes. Some more brand new socks and yeah, these are some costumes right here. Right? Or 90s? I don't know. <laughs> My girls used to wear the princess 90s. They wore them till they were falling apart. They loved those things. They'd wear them all day if they could. Uh, these are 38 bucks. Well, that's a good find. Every one of these boxes here is taped up and that is That is a, a good sign for sure. We don't usually find that. All right, so here we've got a. Oh, that's that's seen better days. Let me just check that one. And that one's been melted, put up against a hot pan, probably. Okay, there's a nice teapot. It's very greasy. It seems to be in good shape. Some good utensils here. Okay, Farber wear. Not nothing impressive, really. Jeez, that thing looks brand new. Does not look used. And here's the base. It's a Walmart brand. It's by made by. Intertech. It's a cheap one. That's a few bucks though. There's the top for it. It's good. Pretty good. Okay. So nutcrackers or what we use them for is lobster or crab cracking. Alright, next box. Oh, this is good. Look at these strainers. Those are actually really nice. Just a couple bucks each on those. Just looking to see if it's a Pyrex's anchor. Ovenware, glass bowl, anchor, also made by anchor. I mean, this is actually nice, look at that. It's made in China, the tag's still on it. I don't think that's ever been used. It's a nice wine glass. One of those, it's cool. See all that silverware set right there? Very large set. And we got some styrofoam plates there. There's another wine glass. Wine glass, wine glass, and let's take some paper plates at the very bottom. I'm not going to take all that out. All right, now we'll do that at the flea market. That's just some rugs. But they're pretty nice. Look at this, you guys. Tag's still on it. It's not super high value. It's $6.99, but still, it's brand new. We're not going to have a problem having bags for the flea market because everything's wrapped in bags. Ooh, this is nice. Yeah. It's very nice. It all really does look like it's almost brand new. Like everything in this locker so far, except for some of the pots and pans, has looked like it's brand new. I think they, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if this gal was moved here for a job or something and then uh, was moved away. Uh-oh. Oh yeah, okay. This is good. Apple TV. Let's see. 64 gig. I'm trying to see if it's a 3 or a 4. Apple three, TV 3 or Apple TV 4. This is a 3. Okay, still good. I'll plug it in and make sure it works. But these are... Uh, what the... Well, let's see. It has the remote. I don't see it. I have extra ones though. I'll take it all out. Hopefully it has a remote. That's 30 bucks, I'd say. Easy 30 bucks. I'll probably sell that as soon as I put it on eBay. Alcohol. 
hydrogen peroxide, both full. Good sellable stuff. This is ornaments. Okay. Boom. A box. Again with the tags too. Cotton swabs. A glass jar. Okay, what's this? Gold drop. Uh, some kind of vaporizer thing. Oh, these red box containers. Split. <laughs> Split. I haven't seen that. The girl in the spider's web. I haven't seen that. I'm not sure I want to. Equalizer 2. I haven't seen that. And Widows. Every decision begins with the decision to try. Hmm. A little gift card for Arcade. Oh, here's another gift card. Oh, and another gift card. No. Is that a gift card? I don't know what that is. Okay, what's this? That's nice. iPad, 16 gig. I think this earlier model doesn't really matter because it's cracked. But we're going to give five bucks for that anyway, so it's all good. Ooh, X Xbox One. Marvel vs. Capcom. That's good. Tighten that ponytail and get stuff done. Rubber bands. Right, one more. The hate you give. What is this? Oh my goodness, guys. This is a Rachel Ray pan. Can you believe that? We just found those in the... Yeah, Rachel Ray porcelain cookware. It's good stuff. This one is... It's got only a couple scratches on it. It's not bad at all. Look at that. That's heck of funny. We just found a whole set of those and sold them at the garage sale video <laughs> right before this video. This is hilarious. Uh oh, we do have some broken glass in here. That's a real shame. This thing was well, stored right. Look at that. That's nice. Marcador. Made in Portugal. Those are some nice bowls. This one, ah, this one's chipped too. Look at that. Alright. Let's see some nice stuff here. Nice paper towel holder. Sonicare. Let's see if it's in here because these are expensive. Yep, it is. That's what I use. So, what is this for? I don't know. Hmm. So, we got a couple of these things. Terrarium, I think is what it's called. It's fake, but it still looks kind of cool. There's another one. Okay, and these are very cool right here. See that? There's two of those. I'd say we sell those for 10 bucks for the set. What's this? Okay, candle holder. Look at that. Horse here, made in Brazil. Ooh, that's nice. Next box. I'm really waiting for like a just an insane box. Insane one. Where is this? Really amazing stuff. This is not it. Hmm. It's just a it's just a platter. Like a purple ceramic platter. It's nice. It definitely is nice. A big glass jar. There's another matching piece to that purple tray, and I have a feeling this is another one. Yup. Uh, here's another one with glass jar. It's another one. Here's the bottom of it. A very large glass jar. They look like they're decent quality too. Look at that. <laughs> Tic-tac-toe board. I think it's more decorative. Very nice. Yeah, here's a whole bunch of spices. All right, let's go through this big box here. So this is actually a really nice flower arrangement here. Big flowers. And here we got some white roses. All right, this is another one of those glass bowls. There's some decorative rocks. Okay, guys, how do you think it's looking so far? Because I'm not too terribly excited. That's what we've gone through so far. Um, and there's what we got to go through still. You know, we've been through more than half of the boxes and haven't found anything 
super good. Found some few little items of value, but nothing big, big. So keep looking. Hope we find something good. I need to get that 300 bucks back. Next, next box. Oh yeah. Okay, this is good right here. Another Rachel Ray. I'm starting to learn that, right? That's got the nice silicone orange handle. Yeah, here's another Rachel Ray. Calphalon. Is that how you pronounce it? Calphalon? I don't know. This is a nice one, though. I think this stuff's usually pretty cheap, but this one seems a little bit nicer than the stainless steel. Guys, the reason why I make such... I slow down and actually look at this kind of stuff a little bit closer is because uh, you can have some decent money in pots and pans. That's what I'm looking for. You got a Rachel Ray at the bottom here that has a blue handle. I'm not gonna pull this stuff out though. I'm just gonna bring this to the next market. I'll go through it there, but it's looking like some decent stuff. I will definitely sell this stuff. That'll be a nice little bit of money right here. One more mention I just noticed. This is Southwest Cargo, and this is the uh, Southwest Airlines right here. Someone flew into Oakland. That is, uh, that's something a little different. Something different. Someone traveled and brought these boxes with them. That's interesting. Trucks and toys. So we did find some baby clothes. Hopefully these aren't too small. Good toy. Ooh, ooh. All right. Now we're talking. Look at this. My daughter needs a new basketball. I wonder if that'll work for her. Here's a good football. Decent. All this stuff's good. All this stuff sells. It's a couple bucks each right here. Couple bucks, couple bucks, couple bucks. Maybe even three or four bucks each. They all look like they're brand new. These haven't been played with in the dirt or nothing. They're decent. Alien Invasion. Those are cool. I think it's three bucks each. But this, this is a little more, more, more better right here. Mm. Are those Hot Wheels really? Yeah, that's Hot Wheels. It says Hot Wheels on the side. Huh. That. Monster truck Hot Wheels. Yeah, Monster Jam. Holds 15 trucks. Hmm. I didn't know there was such a thing. Look at that, Hot Wheels. Hmm. These have any value. This is metal. I think these are a little bit nicer. Next box. Next box. Ooh, this is good. Okay, so Tim Towels. Che sheets. I don't care. I don't care. Ah, that's too bad. I'll let those die. These are nice pots right here. Those are kind of cool. They have an industrial look to them. Allow soil to dry between thorough waterings. That's a good sign. This is what I like to see right here though. Look at that. Fake plants. They sell good. This right here. Look at that. That's pretty legit right there. That is nice. See that? I'm telling you. That might be a $20 fake plant right there. Might be. Next box, we got Tupac. A little Tupac poster. That's all right. We got a little puzzle. And some coloring books. A Lego guy. This, I think, is just bedding. That's all it is. All right, guys, last box. Mm. Wish it wasn't over, but let's see what's in here. Maybe it's something good. This is all wrapped up. That's kind of interesting, so definitely want to see what this could be. Ah, uh, toys. Dang. Well, that's too bad. I'm not sure why they wrap it up like that. It's all cars and stuff, so that's good. It's a little Nerf guns, right? All right, guys. Now I'm down to that. Just the furniture. I'm just going to come back tomorrow and get it. I could probably fit it if I want to get really, really creative and uh, spend another 20, 30 minutes tying everything down. But I don't. I'm just going to drag that net over and be done. So, for now...
All right, you guys, so that video was just yesterday. Um, I went back earlier today and cleaned the furniture out. You see that right here, um, fast motion. Cleaned it all out, brought it home, was intending to put it together and um, realize, you know what? There's no bolts, there's no hardware. I need nuts and I need bolts to fasten it all together. I think what it is a big wide top, you saw the wide top and a small base. And then there's four pieces for the legs that flare in like this. I think it's kind of a modern piece. The chair swivel on top, it's a nice little set. I think I'm probably gonna list that thing for 150 bucks. We'll have to see. But um, I don't have a sales update for you guys on this. I know you love that sort of thing when I show you the cost, sales, and the profit, but I haven't sold the dang thing. We have not sold one single thing out of this. I'm just about to start listing a few items tonight. Uh, hopefully we can sell some local stuff, the bigger items especially. But the table set we're gonna have to put in the garage and sit on a little while until I go to the flea market with the boxes. I have a feeling those bolts and nuts are in one of those boxes, the hardware. I just feel like it's in there. If not, I'll have to scour my garage to find those pieces so I can make that set complete and make it gone. All right, so all all in all it is not a bad little locker, very clean, but will I get my 300 bucks back? I don't know. Um, but you know what? The exciting one of the day was the one that Mike, the storage auction pirate bought. Already he's been sending me some text of stuff coming out. It looks pretty incredible. I wish I had bought that one, but I'm glad that he did. If you guys aren't already subscribed to his channel, I'm going to put the link right here. Go check it out because first of all, he's the legend in this business. Second of all, he's got tons of videos. If you guys like this stuff, he's got more videos than you can watch probably in about six months. And third of all, he's doing those videos right now of that locker that we saw him buy the other day. And I'll tell you guys, it's a good locker. So make sure you go to his channel, subscribe and start watching those videos because I think there's going to be some great stuff coming out. I, for one, am really excited about watching them. All right. So you, why don't you guys do that? And in the meantime, if you would, if you liked what you saw here today, hit us a thumbs up. Show us that you like this sort of thing, what we do, that we take you on the adventure with us, and subscribe to our channel if you haven't yet also. I really appreciate it, all right? Thanks, you guys. The next video is gonna start digging into that antique locker that I keep teasing you about. Good stuff coming out of that. I'm not sure yet if there's valuables coming out of that, but there are super interesting things in there already. And I don't even know if I've gone through a third of the boxes yet. There's a lot to go through, and I can't wait to share that with you guys, all right? But you're gonna have to wait till the next video for that. And until then, good luck to you. God bless you. We'll see you next time here on Locker Nuts. <laughs> All right, you guys, you know I like to tease you about the upcoming lockers. So here is an item that is going to come out of the next locker or set of lockers. I'm not sure if it's going to be in the first video or what, but when we do dig this out, uh, we'll get to opening it because check this out. Hey, if it's locked, then it's a safe, right? A wise man once said that. <laughs>